Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Snowbeck. Today we are going to do Unit 7, Lesson 3, Arcs and Chords of Circles. In the same circle or congruent circles, two minor arcs are congruent if and only if their corresponding chords are congruent. So imagine this, we know chord FG and chord JH are the same length. If that happens, then arc FG and arc JH will be the same length. And so will you please jot this down? If segment FG, which means the chord, the straight line from F to G, is congruent to segment JH, then arc FG, remember put like a little curve above the FG, would also be congruent to arc JH. Maybe some of your grandmas or family members um, like to embroider things. And so this is an embroidery hoop. You put like a dishcloth in there or a, a nice thin piece of cloth and then you sew a picture onto it. And so in this embroidery hoop, segment AB is congruent to segment CD. You can see the red tick marks on them. And the measure of arc AB is 60 degrees. What would be the measure of arc CD? Well, since the chords are equal, the arcs are equal. And so this would also be 60 degrees. And so 60 degrees is your answer. Number two, in the figures, circle J is congruent to circle K and arc MN is congruent to arc PQ. Find PQ. What that means is we want the distance from P to Q, which is this segment. We want that distance. Now, if the arcs are congruent, you can see the arc uh, here, I'll, I'll highlight it, and the arc here, those are congruent. So therefore, the 2x plus 1 equals the 3x minus 7. The chords will also be congruent. So just do your normal algebra, solve for x. Looks like we get x equals 8, but that is not our final answer. We need to take that 8 and plug it into PQ. So I'm going to plug it in right up here. The distance from P to Q is going to be 3 times 8 minus 7, which is 24 minus 7, which is 17. And I don't think there's a label there. Will you please pause the video and try part 2B? See if you can figure that one out. So for part 2b, what I think about is these chords, this chord and this chord have tick marks, so they are congruent. And so the arcs will also be congruent. So you can see I put an x on that second part that would be congruent. A whole circle has 360 degrees. So I start with 360 minus the 200. That leaves us with 160 degrees for for this whole arc right here, we have 160 degrees left. But since those two parts are congruent to each other, we're going to take the 160 and divide by 2, which is 80. So this one would be 80, and this one would be 80. x equals 80 degrees. Go ahead and pause the video and try number 3. In circle W, arc RS is congruent to arc TB, find RS. Well, we can see um, because these are congruent that the segments are also congruent. So 5x minus 9 equals 2x plus 3. Solve it using regular algebra skills. And I think you get x equals 4. However, that is not our final answer. We have to take that 4 and plug it in for rs. So we will plug it in right there. The distance from r to s is 5 times 4 minus 9, which is 20 minus 9, which is 11. And I don't think we have a label. If a diameter or radius of a circle is perpendicular to a chord, then it bisects the chord and its arc. So if this right here, 
is perpendicular to this right here. If AB is perpendicular to XY, then, let me just erase a little bit, then this gets cut in half and this gets cut in half. So let's write that out. If segment AB is perpendicular to segment XY, if that happens, if they meet at 90 degrees, then uh, segment or the, let's, yeah, let's say segment XZ will be congruent to segment YZ and arc XB will be congruent to arc YB. That's some good geometry writing right there. Lots of symbols. I like it. In addition, the perpendicular bisector of a chord is going to be a diameter or a radius of a circle. So you can see this right here is perpendicular to XY, meets it at 90 degrees, and it bisects XY. You can see the tick marks. When that happens, this has to be a radius or this has to be a diameter. So we can make a little note, segment AB is the diameter of circle C. Number four, in circle S, the measure of arc PQR equals 98. Find the measure of arc PQ. Well, since this right here is perpendicular to this, it's gonna cut this arc in half. So if the whole arc was 98, to get PQ, we're going to take 98 divided by 2, which is 49 degrees. That would be the measure of arc PQ. In other words, right here. Number five, in circle S, find PR. Well, again, I see a couple things. I see this little six right here. If that... Uh, SQ is perpendicular to PR, it's going to cut it in half. So from P to T will also be 6. So PR is going to be 6 times 2, or 12. All the way here. Number 6. In circle J, the diameter is 30 inches. KM is 22 inches. Find JL. So if the diameter is 30 inches, what's the radius? 30 divided by 2 is 15. That's going to be your radius. So I'm going to make a note here. The radius halfway across is 15. Then it says from K to M is 22. Well, K to M is going to get cut in half because JH is perpendicular to it. So if you take 22 and cut it in half, you get 11. This is 11, this is 11. It's going to get cut in half. They want us to find JL, so they want us to find this. We know this, and think about the radius. Right here from J to K, is that a radius? It is, so it will also be 15, just like all the radii would be 15. So what we wind up with is a little triangle where we have a 90 degree corner, this is 11, this is 15, and this is the side we want, we can do Pythagorean theorem. We can do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. What side is the c? Has to be the 15. So we're gonna go um, 11 squared plus x squared equals 15 squared. 121 plus x squared equals 225 minus your 121, you get x squared equals 104, and then you have to take the square root. So square root both sides, x turns out to be 10.2, and if you go back, that is JL. So I'm just going to rewrite this, JL is 10.2, and I think it's inches, because up above we do have a label. So take a look at number seven. In circle A, Wx equals xy. So they're telling us this distance 
equals this distance, and they're both 22. Find AB. I don't think we need to know that they are 22. We just need to know that they're equal to each other because if they're equal to each other, then this and this distance will be the same because those chords would have to be equidistant from the center. So in this case, 5x equals the 3x plus 4. If these chords are the same, then these distances here and here are the same. So solve it using algebra. I think x turns out to be 2, but remember we're looking for AB, so we're going to have to plug it back in right there. So the distance from A to B is 5 times 2, which is 10. That's the end of 7.3. Will you guys please try the 7.3 practice? Thank you. Have a great day.